Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this smiley face from iPhone in Microsoft PowerPoint. And today's guessing will be fairly easy just because I wasn't able to find the smiley face in a better resolution. So the left one is an image, the right one is the smiley face created inside PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start with a blank presentation where I already have this image pasted in and I will draw this like a circle shape. So insert shapes oval. And while I'm drawing, I will press the shift key on my keyboard just so it's not oval but the circle instead. I will most likely move this to the right side, right click and select format shape and I will change the fill to, uh, sorry, line to no line, I don't need any line for this one. And for the fill I want this like a gradient going from yellow to orange to like darker orange or reddish color. And I would like to this to be not a linear gradient but a radial instead, but uh, when I change the gradient fill to gradient fill and open the, you know, properties, or maybe move it to the left side so you can see it better. If I change the type to radial, I have uh, five possibilities for the direction. I can select from corners or from the middle. The thing is I want this gradient to be moved a little bit to the top. F you know, for some strange reason there is a preset which is called the uh, top spotlight which has a uh, linear, sorry, the gray, uh, sorry, radial gradient, but it goes from top to bottom which is exactly what we need so if I change the gradient from white to black you can see it kind of starts in the top and then it you know goes towards the bottom but it looks better than the linear gradient just because it has this circular feel so that's exactly what we will be using today so I will put this back and I will start uh, changing the color so the first one I will use the eyedropper tool should be like this yellow one then it should go to around like this, like this orange one, and the last one would be kind of dark orange one, maybe even darker, that's kind of light, so maybe like this. Okay, we can keep the white color in here just because it's somewhere outside, it's not affecting our gradient in any way, but we want a little bit of like a shading around the edges. We can probably add this by having the inner shadow effect. So I'll open the effects, and in the shadow properties, I will select some inner shadow effect probably the one going from the bottom and I will change the color for like very dark brown color like this one and I will set the blur to be much bigger I don't know maybe around maybe even like this like 20 points transparency should be set to, to zero and the distance could be probably even you know bigger so maybe like I don't know seven points seven points seems about right maybe I can still change the color to be a little bit darker so I will just you know adjust the color using this slider to be darker maybe that's too much but you get the point you you know somehow around here so there is a little bit of shading on the bottom it's not affecting the top because it's moved uh, you know to the top by this distance setting to 90 degrees and the, uh, sorry angle setting to 90 degrees and distance set to seven points so we are still missing this kind of big highlight on top. So I'll draw a new circle, which will be a little bit smaller than the bigger one like this. I will move it to the right side and I will again use a radial gradient going from the top. Of course, set the line to no line and the fill to gradient fill. But this time it will go from really white color going maybe to some kind of very bright yellow one and then to some I don't know, like orange one, but the orange one will be set to, you know, 100% transparency, so it will not affect our gradient, and the middle one could be, I don't know, maybe like 50 or so. This one still seems to be affecting our gradient quite a lot, I'm not quite sure why it's happening. Hmm, it's kind of strange. Maybe if I move this from the very right side more to the left, you know, we will get this like uh, faded feel. Okay, that's that's much better. So this is the first step on top, which is the white one, which is the most highlighted bright one. The middle one is yellow, but it's already a little bit faded. Maybe like this. And the last one is orange, but it's faded to 100%, so it's not affecting anything. So. I guess I'm fine with the result. Seems like, you know, maybe it's because of the quality, but maybe we can blur this shape a little bit. So I'll open effects and this time I will open soft edges and maybe raise this to, I don't know, like maybe three or, or two points just so the highlight is a little bit blurred. And I believe that's uh, 
fine for like the base shape object for our smiley face so if i zoom out somehow looks similar so the only missing parts are the eyes and the mouth the eyes should be fairly simple i will just draw two new ellipses so insert shape ellipse or oval it's called oval in world like this and i will maybe duplicate it while i'm here and move it over our smiley our smiley face like this and i need you can see i need kind of brownish outline so this line should be set to the very dark brown color maybe i'll raise the line width to maybe like three points and the fill seems like that there's a gradient use but we can probably use a solid fill by dropping this light um, color and then we will also use inner shadow effect so i will use the inner shadow effect to f you know have it a little bit darker from the top and i will again maybe use one of those brown colors or maybe sample dark one from here and the default setting seems to be fine as you can see there is a little bit of yellow highlight on the bottom but we've already used the shadow and we've already used the outline so what we can probably do is we can group everything together or group those two eyes together and when you do it each group has could have a separate uh, set of effects so now we can again apply the shadow but this time it will of course be outer shadow and the color wouldn't be black but it will be this light yellow for sure so yellow and no blurring just so it's a solid new color so that's that's for the eyes they look kind of similar and we can move to the mount so for the mount we probably cannot find the same shape so we will have to create those shapes using the merge shape functionality so we'll you first uh, draw a new oval in a big size like this i will change the transparency a little bit so i can see what's, what's below and I will resize it from both sides holding the shift key or uh, sorry control key on my keyboard I probably need to make it a little bit smaller like this okay this seems about right and I will duplicate this shape holding the control key and dragging it on top of course holding the shift key so I'm moving it in a vertical, di vertical direction then I will move this handle with the control key so I'm resizing it to both sides and I probably need one more ellipse for the like the teeth so like this and I probably need this big circle one more time so I'm, I'm having a lot of different circles so that's maybe it's a good idea to show the selection pane so home select selection pane and I will hide all of those and just select one of those you know middle circles smaller circles and the top shape which is this one then I will select this one and the top one and select the format merge shapes subtract this is like the mount shape actually I, I, I needed the other shape as well so before I do that I will copy this one as well one more time sorry for this so now I will select those two shapes select the format merge shapes subtract I will hide this shape and I will show those three shapes so I will use the same mm, technique I will subtract those two shapes but for this one i will use the intersection which will give me the teeth shape okay i'll select those two shapes move it over our smiley face and we can start adding colors and gradients of course okay so for the mouth seems like that the fill could be set to solid fill so i will just uh, pick the the brown color and the line will be a little bit darker so i will sample this darker brown color set the line with to maybe three points as anywhere else and i may change the joint type to round so we have a little bit rounded corners for the teeth i will use the very same uh, outline color and very same width but for the fill i will use a gradient going from like a gray to white back to gray color so gradient this time it will be a linear gradient and the first step will be this silver one the middle one is white and the right one is again the silver one and i have to just set the angle to be zero degrees just so the darker colors are around the edges so the only missing piece is this again this yellow highlight on the bottom and what i can do probably this time is just to duplicate this shape one more time and basically set the line to be yellow so this line should be yellow 
and the width could be should be much much bigger i will open the selection pane and position this properly that means that the yellow outline will be below those two shapes and probably need to make it even a little bit bigger like maybe seven or eight points maybe even nine points and you can see it's not visible on top so instead of using a solid line i will use a gradient line which will go from yellow to yellow but the first yellow will be faded to 100 percent and the second one will be like i don't know maybe 45 or so that kind of looks fine for the teeth i will also change the line uh, joint type to be around so we don't have those spikes in there and if i zoom in i think i'm pretty satisfied the result we have a nice looking smiley face done in microsoft powerpoint which almost looks like the one from the iphone which is on the left side and that's it thanks for watching